What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Demo Storm and we're here on something new. Today we're on Medieval Engineers. I thought I would show you guys the game off a little bit. Um, basically, it's Space Engineers. It's made by the same people. But it's like medieval times, which is really cool. And I like the idea. Um, it has a few survival elements such as eating and drinking. Currently, I'm in creative mode, but I'm just kind of showing you guys like, kind of like what it's like to gather. So over here, we have a castle. I wanted to show you guys. The main selling point is you can build castles and stuff like this and everything is like fully destructible so if you really want to get into like destroying a castle you can get into destroying a castle i'm wondering is there a lever for the gate oh i don't have i don't have permission in a little bit of lag visitors visitors entrance for combatants Oh, this is an arena. That's why. So I want to show you guys kind of what's going on here. I'm currently preloading Borderlands 3. Let me just pause that real fast. I think that's what's causing my lag, to be honest. Uh, Pause, please. Yeah, we're getting ready for Borderlands 3. I believe Friday it comes out. I should have videos on that for you guys. So what I want to do is put down a siege weapon to show you guys some of the destruction. I can also show it to you with my custom commands. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go with a trebuchet. I'm just going to place the blueprint. You can build all this stuff, which is really cool. I never understood like turning a blueprint in space engineers. Like shift makes it go that direction. Why? <laughs> Oh, hold shift. All right. So what I want to do, oh, oh, I'm, I'm breaking things. Typical me. <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm not the best with using these type of controls. We're just going to turn it one, uh, 360 degrees every time. So that should be about right. So this is a trebuchet. What I need to do is weigh it down a little bit. There we go. So now it's weighed down. I'm going to drop a rock. And I need... Terrible rope. No, no, no. Hey, come back here. I just kick it around like a soccer ball. So, destructible environments means... We can do things like this. Ready? And unlock. So it didn't make the distance. I believe what we can do is if we want to, we can put more stone in there. It's at its heaviest. Let's go check if we need to move it closer. I'll take up the big weights and push it a little bit closer so we can get a direct hit. But you can, you have to build that from scratch. I mean, that that's amazing. I love that stuff. No, I do not want to respawn. Let's see. Did we even hit? Oh, it doesn't seem like it. So I am going to push it a little bit closer. Hopefully. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, pushing things with physics doesn't always work too well. But I want to show you guys the destruction of like a trebuchet against a castle. The destruction is so good. I love this this destruction system. I love in any game that has destruction like this. I got to put away the rope. Pick that up. And I'm going to try and push it forward. I don't know. Yeah, it's not going to want to come. 
So, control X. Let's just move a little bit closer. Uh, perfect. So what I'm going to do now is weigh it down. Perfect. It shouldn't go anywhere. We're now going to put down our little thing here. What I got to do is actually lock this block. This is the locking mechanism. And turn the wheel down. So we got a little bit of physics here. Hopefully those loose ball, you know, rock balls don't affect anything. Turning it down, turning it down. Perfect. So what I want to do is just attach the rope to there and unlock. That should be perfect. Yep, we have a hit. So let's see if we did any damage. I'm going to show you guys me throwing it as if a catapult was hitting. So we hit right here. It seems like we broke the block off right there. But say we, we were going to make a direct hit and, you know, just look at it. It's amazing. I love how the rocks break. There's just like that, that level of destruction is so good. We'll use a heavier ball just to show you guys massive destruction. And that ball is going to ricochet. And if we wanted to, so you had defensive catapults, you can, you know, beat the crap out of that trebuchet over there. Let's see. You need to get a good hit. And there we go. It's broken. <laughs> so, you know, if you built a catapult that could destroy your, your friend's castle, it's pretty good. And I love that, like, if these rocks impact, they actually break apart. And there's more pieces. So, it, it's a whole entirely destructible environment. As you can see, I'm kind of just running through the castle now, just kind of breaking things. And I love that. I love the, the whole castle atmosphere and breaking things, ricochets and things like that. This is like a hallway and stuff and by, so yeah, there's swords, there's clubs, boxes right there full of shields and you can build and, you know, grow your own little kingdom and the map is ginormous. So we're going to take a look at the map real fast. This is the center area. This is the right side of the map. And you can like, it's just imagine as a circular world. You can also fast travel. So if I wanted to fast travel there, uh, you need to have food and have people not in the way areas that have taxation and you can fast travel around the planet. So that's a really cool idea. I like the idea that I can like build a castle. So when we go into a zone, there's more. So you have the big blocks, which is the zones. Uh, currently, where am I on the map? I don't even know where I am on this map. Anyways, you have zones and then you zoom in and there's more zones. So you can like build a little castle that clips these four blocks and stop people from fast traveling down that road. Charge them taxes and things like that. So it's a cool idea. Um, you obviously get the space engineer vibe. I haven't actually hit a tree before. Oh, it snaps it right at the base. And as you can see, there's really nice physics going on and there is supposed to be you know some stability to buildings they shouldn't be floating but things happen and as you can see things are falling and yeah you can you know build your own trebuchets things like that we have a mobile shield here. Let's see if someone say that's. As you can see, like if you were coming in to attack a castle, you get underneath the shield so they can't hit you. You get in here and you just kind of push it forward. 
It's kind of strange. You would want more people. You can also pull it on a rope. As you can see. And then, you know, also should be destructible. And you build that all from like the base. So that's really cool. And like someone built the castle of Ugg from, uh, I can't even remember, uh, shield part from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That's what Ugg is from, by the way. And you see like, that's a, an archer cart. So you can shoot behind it and then I don't really know how they push it. Oh, they kind of just pull it. But you got to play with those physics and then that's supposed to prevent you, but if you hit by a catapult, it's over. So I just love the idea of it and I might actually host a server for this. So if you guys are interested, let me know down in the comments. It's just going to be a quick video. I do have school today. I've been so busy lately, but I want to get into this game. Uh, Borderlands 3 is on Friday. Kind of a checkup episode with you guys. We got metal. Doesn't break as well. I like how it bounced back. You're better off going through the stone wall. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this stuff and you want to see like a series on this game against other people, PvP probably, let me know down in the comments down below. I've been Demo, guys. Have a wonderful day.